How are you everyone in the world and Christians? This is the Bushido channel, an old man who lives in the countryside of Japan, which boasts a history of thousands or even tens of thousands of years. Japan has a spirit of Bushido, there is a samurai spirit, there is Yamato soul, today's Japanese seem to have forgotten that spirit but that spirit is alive in the depths of their hearts. It is an eccentric channel that analyzes world famous paintings with such a Bushido spirit. Thank you, I have solved the unsolved mysteries of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, The Annunciation, Virgin of the Rocks and The Baptism of Christ. These are probably the four most important paintings of Leonardo da Vinci. These four works are works that require solving a mystery. If you do not solve the mystery, the meaning of this work will be halved. If you do not solve it as a mystery, you will not understand the philosophy and thought of Leonardo da Vinci. By the way, I would like to introduce Mona Lisa today. It will be the delivery of part two. In part 1, I explained to you what changed my life as I was brought back into the world of art by that Mona Lisa drawn by Leonardo da Vinci. He also explained that Mona Lisa is a work that is positioned differently from The Last Supper, Annunciation, Virgin of the Rocks, and The Baptism of Christ. Why is Mona Lisa so praised by everyone in the world this time? I would like to think about. This is a pure painting analysis that is rare for me, so please look forward to it until the end. In the spirit of Bushido, I will abandon my preconceptions and analyze this Mona Lisa. Where should we start? How about this picture? What's the difference? Please be assured that it is not a quiz. The correct answer is road width. This is the road on the left. I feel that it is a little appropriate for the road that Leonardo da Vinci draws. I narrowed the width of this road. Why do you do that? Look to the right. There is a bridge. It was the same as the width of this bridge. Before the explanation, the shoulder-to-arm line of Mona Lisa looks like this when carefully observed. She wears two laces on top of each other, so she is confused about what kind of line it is. This is a slightly emphasized image. Isn't it a little strange? In order to correct this I feel like he is drawing by changing the width of the road. The human brain makes sense so that the left path leads to the right bridge. Since Mona Lisa is in the center, it is corrected that it is the same path in the brain. The background space is distorted by the correction. The distortion cancels out the distortion of Mona Lisa. I am applying such a brain science theory. What about next? What's the difference? Please be assured that it is not a quiz. The correct answer is the horizontal line in the background. This is the same reason. People who see Mona Lisa naturally think that the left and right are the same horizon. It corrects in a straight line or horizontally. Looking at the original picture, the horizon is different. This is what Leonardo da Vinci dared to draw like this. By doing this the distortion of Mona Lisa is corrected. It's really skillful. 
there is no such technique before or after Leonardo da Vinci. It may happen that it was applied, but as far as I know, it was adopted by the Impressionist Cezanne in earnest hundreds of years later. You can feel the influence of Leonardo da Vinci such as his still life. This is a picture that has been drawn to the limit in a sense, so it may be a possible method. Of course, there is no difference that the drawing of the entire screen is wonderful. Normally, when correcting the distortion of the object you want to draw, you correct it. But Leonardo da Vinci used the illusion of the human eye. It may be due to his painting method, Sfumato. He may have had difficulty fixing it because he had repeated paints. Mona Lisa has various urban legends. Leonardo da Vinci has a lot of spectacular drawings that trigger it. That is the aim of Leonardo da Vinci. He is a device to hide simple things. If you look at it innocently, as I expressed in part 1. The letters are drawn on the wrinkles of the clothes on his right arm. So, I think it's been unnoticed for 500 years now. Well, something simpler is overlooked. There is an urban legend that there is a hidden character in the eyes of Mona Lisa. I'm not interested, X-Ray. I'm not interested, I forgot something simpler. You've already announced it in the baptism of Christ, but where is the center of this Mona Lisa? There is a way to see it at a glance. Laminated, inverted, 50% transparent. Let's take a look, how is it? It's an interesting image. The eyes are perfectly centered. Isn't it unexpectedly talked about that this eye is in the center? Researchers forget the simple thing of measuring the width and finding the center point to confirm it. However, it is obvious if the reverse bonding is 50% transparent. Is it a coincidence that the eyes are perfectly centered? This was intended by Leonardo da Vinci. It doesn't happen to come to the center like this. Perhaps this image has a mystery. It's not my job. My job is to use the spirit of Bushido to open heavy doors that haven't been opened for 500 years. By the way, symmetry is important in Western thought. Even in the world of beauty, the ultimate beauty is symmetrical. Usually, when we talk about symmetry, 
we tend to think of the same thing on the right and left. In fact, the true symmetry is inverted, superimposed and 50% transparent. If you think about it the cross symbolizes it in a sense. Furthermore, the ultimate is symmetrical and vertically symmetrical. Finally, let me show you the image. You can see it by reading from this image without having to bring up difficult things such as the golden ratio. By the way, the old man in the country is about to leave. How was part 2? Next time is part 3 of the final chapter. Looking forward to, goodbye.